Hey there YouTube, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to fully disassemble the lower frame of a Airsoft gas blowback M9. This is the, uh, the WE Tech version, SOCOM gear. So I'm not sure if all uh, M9 models are, are the same, but you'll get an idea from watching this. What you're going to need is uh, an Allen wrench. I'm not sure what size, but you just see whatever fits in the, into these, to those little holes, into those screws for the, uh, the hand grips. A uh, screwdriver, you can either use a Phillips or a flathead. I'm not sure what size either. Just a, a pretty small one. And a paper clip bent like this. You're going to need this to push out the, bob, the body pins. So of course, you know, you make sure there's no magazine in the gun, make sure it's not loaded. And then you, uh, you take, you know, you press the uh, takedown switch thing to release your slide, take that out. And put this to the side because I'm not going to touch that for the rest for the, this video. And we're going to take out the left, the left side of the, the hand grip the left hand grip first and when you do that I want you to uh, hold the um, slide lock down because there is a spring in there that that may shoot out while you're while you take off the grips you spin the, sc the screws um, counterclockwise and, and another thing to have for this for this, uh, this assembly is a small baggie, Ziploc bag. Put your stuff in there so you don't lose them. Because everybody hates to lose stuff. And then take, um, damn it. take out your hand grip. So now you have this. And then once you take out the hand grip, you can slowly uh, take out the uh, slide lock, making sure this little guy right here, this little spring doesn't come out. Once again, put it in your little Ziploc bag. Next, you should take out the uh, right, the right side of the pistol grip. Well, again, by twisting the screws counterclockwise. And being careful not to lose any parts because it's it'll be pretty hard to replace pieces of this gun. When you take out the right side of the hand grip, you hold down the um, this little piece of the trigger, that piece, this little piece right here. I don't know I don't know the exact name, so I'm just gonna call it piece or whatever. So you take that out, and as you can see, there's a small spring there. Make sure that doesn't come flying out. You can just pry that out with your nail. Put that to the side. Make sure you don't lose that. And then you can take out this piece. The piss, the trigger piece, whatever. So now you have this. Um, what you do next is take apart, take out the uh, takedown switch, whatever you want to call it, by twisting it um, counterclockwise. Like so. I don't know if you can really see that. And then it just slides right out. Now you want to take out your magazine release by pushing through the right side, and it will just come right out. There also is a spring in that piece right there. Make sure that doesn't come flying out. And now that, first of all, let me put the little pieces in the bag because I really don't want to lose anything. And the main reason I'm taking apart this gun is because my uh, my trigger return spring is broken, so my trigger doesn't like return to the starting position after I pull on it. Uh, next, what do I do? Oh yeah, next, take out the get your paper clip to 
take out the uh, body pins, which is one right there and one down there. We're gonna take off the one, the upper one first. So it's pretty simple, you know. It's you use your paper clip to press on the pin, and it'll push through to the other side, and then you can easily. Well, should be easy. Just take, ah, what the hell? Yeah, you just F it. So we'll do, I'll, t I'll start with the bottom one. You press down on the um, lanyard loop, press down on it, and then press on the body pin and push it through all the way to the other side. And then you could, there is a, a pretty strong spring back here. Slowly let it out, take the spring out, and now I should be able to, I should have been able to take this pin out, but for some reason it doesn't want to go in, it doesn't want to come out, oh god. There we go. So once that's out, took out the two body pins. You uh, use your screwdriver to take out the screw over here. You will need a flathead screwdriver for this. And then once you do that, you can easily take out this whole assembly up here. And now you have the lower frame, which you can put to the side now. Alright, so now that all your pieces are in your bag, what you now do is use your screwdriver to take out these three screws. One, two, and three. While taking out the screws, you should uh, pinch the two sides together, making sure it doesn't explode or whatever even though it shouldn't really explode since there aren't that many powerful springs in this piece there are there are um, three springs in this whole assembly which you gotta look out for so take that screw out take this one out and this one. There is a uh, spring right here. Which you should, uh, what you should do is put your thumb over it and cut, press, push it out from the other side with the uh, screwdriver. Actually, yeah. Just make sure it doesn't come flying out, and make sure you don't lose it. So you should put that in your bag. All right, now. Now what you should do is you should lay it on its side, on a table, flat surface. Lay it on its right side and pull the left, the whole left side out. Like so. If you do it like that, pieces won't come flying out at you. Now what you need to do is uh, you could now take out your trigger. Slide it right out. And you can remove this little piece right here. Remove this piece right here. Remove that piece. And you can remove your hammer. And the spring inside it. Your whole hammer assembly. Now you can take out this little metal tubing which holds the hammer into place and this little thingy majigger. I don't know what it's called, which also has a spring in it. So make sure you don't lose that. And this will also come out, which also holds that thingy majigger in place. So now you have. Now you have all this. So basically, that that is the full takedown for this uh, this gun. 
Um, I'll make a video later on how to reassemble it. But these are all the pieces. Make sure you keep every piece. Make sure you don't lose anything or you're going to have to order them online. Like, like one of the, the trigger spring, which is maybe like this small. Costs like two bucks. And I got to buy that. So I hope you, uh, hope you learned. Try this out with your blowback. And leave comments. You know, leave me comments, concerns, you know, anything. Alright, goodbye, YouTube.